For today's warm up, we're gonna do some ball tosses. This is all about stretching your arms and getting all nice and warmed up so you don't hurt yourself when you're playing volleyball. So we're going to stand a good distance apart. You're gonna go over your head, start from back behind your head, and you're going to bounce it to your partner. Feel a really nice stretch in this part of your arm. The next part is you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna go backwards. doing it with your left hand. It's super awkward if you've ever tried to brush your teeth with your left hand or anything. It's very difficult, very difficult. <laughs> done with a really light warm-up we want to stretch to make sure that we don't pull anything while we are working out during the practice so um, here are some stretches that you can start out with usually holding each stretch for 10 seconds so first one we'll just stretch your arm across your body you're gonna feel this right in here and then you do the same thing on the other side you're gonna hold each of these for about 10 seconds so if you want to pause the video then you can hold it for a full 10 seconds and then you can start it again for the next one. I like to shake it out after I'm done and then I'm gonna pull one arm behind my head like I'm trying to scratch the back of my neck or something. And I'm just gonna pull this back, not too hard. I feel a nice stretch down here. And then I'm going to switch arms. Do the same thing on this side. This is a good stretch to stretch one leg at a time. Just go as far as you feel comfortable going. Trying to keep your leg completely straight as you stretch. Try to touch your toes uh, for about 10 seconds and then switch sides. Do the same thing on the other leg. After you've done that, you can pull your legs together like a butterfly. And you'll feel this stretch right in your thighs up here. Then we're gonna go into like plank sort of position. And I'm just gonna take one of my legs and cross it over the other one. And as you can kind of see, I'm up on my toe and I am pushing my heel back slightly. So I feel a nice stretch back in here. Then I'm going to switch legs. So for this one, you're gonna take your uh, leg and you're going to cross over your other leg. Just reach across or you can, you can hug your leg and pull it closer to you. Or another way to do this one is if you just do the same thing, but you turn and lie on the ground. It works kind of the same way, and then you can switch. My leg is kind of going across about here. And then to stretch the front of our quads right here, you just pull one leg back behind you. Pull your knee toward the ground and switch to the other side and you'll feel a nice stretch right in here. 
Today we're going to focus on serving. Serving is how we start every play in volleyball. One person serves and then the play goes on. Serving is super, super important because you can earn lots of points for serving. In order to have a good serve, you have to have good form, just like passing. So today Jordan's going to show us a good toss for your serve. Every serve begins with a toss, not a throw. A lot of people start their serve with a big throw. All it takes is a little lift. So Jordan, go ahead and show us where you're going to hold the ball. It's kind of across her body. Can you kind of face the camera a little bit more? Perfect. <laughs> there you go. It's across her body in front of her hitting arm. So if you're right-handed, then you're going to hold it in front of your right arm. If you're left-handed, it'll be in front of your left arm. So she's holding it about shoulder height, and she's just going to give it a little lift. So it wasn't too high. She's going to keep doing it over and over. And the more you do it, the more consistent you get. You want it always to go to the same place every single time. Perfect. A good thing to do is just practice the toss until you can do it in your sleep. And it goes to the same spot every single time. That might mean 200 tosses. It might mean 100 tosses or 50 tosses. It might mean 500 tosses. But the toss is one of the most important parts of the serve. After the toss, we're going to work on where our hitting arm goes. So we're going to face the wall. We're going to hold the ball up in front of your hitting arm. Uh, go ahead and hold it with your left, your tossing arm. And so if you're right-handed, you're going to hold it with your left hand. You're going to give it a little toss up there and you're going to trap the ball against the wall. And when you trap it, you should be trapping it straight up above you because we want to reach when we make contact for the ball. Notice how her elbow is staying really high as she reaches for the ball. For level two, Jordan's going to stand on her right leg balancing and she's going to do the same thing before, trap it against the wall. Balancing on her right leg the whole time. Great. After that, she's going to back up off of the wall for probably about 10 to 15 feet. Um, and then she's going to do the same exact thing, balancing on her right leg, but she's going to hit it to the wall. This time Jordan's going to be balancing on her right foot. Before she goes to hit the ball, she's going to step down with her left foot in front of her and use that power to serve the ball. The better you get at this drill, the farther you can back away off of the wall. All right, so we've got a serving competition we're going to try, and this first level is the easiest. You're going to stand with your right foot forward a little bit. You're going to serve to your partner, take a step with your left foot, just like we did against the wall, and your partner has to catch it. to the next level. The next level is my partner has to pass the ball and catch it. So I'm going to pass a nice high ball and then I'm going to catch it to my side. Normally we would have a net right here and you have to serve over the net, but most of you guys are probably practicing at home and you don't have a volleyball net. So if you do have a net, you can go over the net and serve to your partner. If you don't, make sure you're standing very far away so you have enough room to serve.
you do that, we're ready for level three. Level three is that you're gonna to wanna to pass it nice and high because your partner who served it has to immediately start running after their serve and get ready to catch the ball that you passed. For those who are older, maybe fifth grade and higher, I would suggest trying the jump float. It's super cool. And um, the most important thing to remember when you're jump floating is that your arm motions, your toss, your swing, everything, it's the same exact thing as a regular serve. So you've got your very gentle toss. It's more like a lift. Your arm is back, your elbow is high, and you swing through. Um, the footwork is going to be a little bit different. For the footwork for a uh, jump float, you're going to take these steps. Left, right, left. And these are all very purposeful, big steps. So Jordan's going to practice just the footwork, not the arms or the swinging or anything like that. So without a ball, we set a red dot down for her left foot to start out on. Then we've got uh, two black dots for her right foot and then her left foot again. So let's watch her do it in slow motion. It goes left and then right left. Left, right, left. One more time. Left, right, left. So Jordan's going to add in the toss and she's just going to catch the ball right now. Notice when she tosses it and how low she tosses it. This time Jordan's going to go ahead and swing and serve. This time Jordan's going to toss and swing. In order to be a good server, you have to be able to serve wherever you want on the court. So I set up on the other side a triangle and I've got three frisbees that are creating this triangle. And our goal is to serve as many serves as we can inside the triangle. You can set up whatever you want in your yard. Maybe you have a hula hoop, or maybe you have um, a, a patio or a sidewalk or a driveway that you can draw on with chalk, and you can use that as your target. Or maybe there's a tree or something. A tree might pop the ball. I don't know. So whatever you want to use as your target, and you want to serve to that target as many times as you can in a row. Let's see how we do. One game that you can play with this is a lot like basketball. You can play the game of pig or horse. And so if I go first, I'm gonna choose wherever I want to serve on the court. Then Jordan has to serve to the same spot. If she misses, she gets the letter P if you're playing pig, or she gets the letter H if you're playing horse. And then we keep going, and then whoever spells that word first is out, they lose. Another really fun serving game you can do is called jailbreak. And this is really fun with a lot of people, but if you just have yourself, and one other person you can play this game. So we would serve to our goal, wherever that target is, make it a pretty big target for this game. If I miss, then I have to go to jail. So I'm gonna go over to jail, and the only way I can get out of jail is if I catch Jordan's ball that she serves. Our target for this jailbreak game is everything on that side of the line of frisbee. So we have to get it on that side of the court. And if we miss, we gotta go to jail.
Oh man, she missed. She's gotta go to jail. Now the only way for her to get out of jail is if she catches my serve. I'm gonna try to make it really hard for her to catch it. Oh, she's out of jail. Today's serving competition, you have to set up a target in your yard and you have to see how many times you can serve to that target in one minute. So set your stopwatch or have a family member set it for you and tell you when to stop. You have one minute to see how many times you can serve it in this target. Good luck.